But my mom used to cook uh, smoked turkey, uh, green beans, macaroni and cheese, uh, candy yams uh, for the season. But every holiday season, I really enjoyed that, and I'll never forget it. Chef Bill Collins from Mesa Community College has selected a tasty appetizer to start our meal. But first, we take a look at his program. Here's Paul Ferrante. With pen in hand and eager looks on their faces, these students are ready to take some serious notes as they delve into the world of cooking. It's all part of the culinary arts program offered by Mesa Community College. I have learned from my mother and my grandmothers that's always been in the family and I have an arts degree and a business degree so I figured I might as well put those together. I think that's the path I want. Now to help these students succeed, MCC is teaming up with the East Valley Institute of Technology, also known as EVIT, and by combining forces, these future chefs are getting some of the best facilities and instruction around. And through EVIT, uh, the Mesa Community College Culinary Program has evolved from a very small program to now I'm one of the programs that uh, all the other culinary schools are beginning to notice. One of the great things about this culinary program is all the great facilities it has to offer. For instance, right now, I'm inside a giant freezer. In fact, it's pretty cold in there, so let's go ahead and get out of there and warm back up again over by all these burners. There's 28 to be exact, and it's for things like searing up scallops. MCC's culinary arts program covers all kinds of courses, serving up subjects ranging from food safety and sanitation to international cuisine. It doesn't feel like a job and you do it just because you love doing it and you earn money, but money doesn't really matter, it's just your happiness and you like you go to work and you're like, oh my god, I get to make this today. That's the best part. Like you make something and you see the end product and people try it, their faces like light up and stuff like that. That's like the best feeling ever. And while Chef Collins enjoys whipping up the special of the day, he also really loves to see that his students are enjoying themselves and attaining their goals. I feel that if I can share my experiences and my knowledge with my students, then they can be successful. And that's all I'm looking for, is their success. And as these students continue to show a passion for their craft, they are also lining themselves up for a colorful future in the culinary arts. For Maricopa Now, I'm Paul Ferrante. Season's greetings from Mesa Community College. First of all, I have the scallops here. We have the uh, number 10 size scallops, which means there's 10 to each pound. Okay, I'm gonna season them with salt and pepper. Okay, then we're gonna put them on the fire. As I'm stirring that, I'm gonna work on the uh, mango salsa. My first item is the mango itself. I cut these, I diced these mangoes. Okay, so we got mangoes, we got some tomato in there for color. We have a few jalapenos in here for a little spiciness, if you like it spicy. Uh, we have some white onions in here and a tiny bit of uh, cilantro, which also adds flavor to it. I'm going to squeeze some lemon juice in there for freshness. Okay, I'm going to mix it up real good. Now I'm going to turn, check my scallops. You want to make sure that the uh, scallops are done on both sides. And now I'm going to plate the dish. I have a nice color scallop I'm putting here on one side of the radicchio. And then I'm going to take some of my mango salsa. Take some uh, reduction of balsamic vinegar, and I'm just put a little bit on top of it. This completes my dish, which is scallops with uh, mango salsa on top of a bed of radicchio with balsamic vinegar. Chef Collins, what inspired you to create this dish? I wanted to do something light and fruity. 
well, light and fruity is delicious. And I can't wait to try this recipe at home. Thank you, Chef Collins. Happy, Happy holidays, holidays from Mesa Community, Community College Culinary Arts Program. One of the most popular traditional foods for Hanukkah is the potato pancake, or latkes. Today, you can find many creative twists to this traditional recipe that includes sweet potato, cauliflower, broccoli, guacamole, cheese, and even tuna latkes. Honey glazed ham, green bean casserole, grandma's uh, bacon stuffing, and of course, biscuits. 